So how can you reconcile halting the lifting of restrictions with today's news of no COVID deaths? Well, our science correspondent, Thomas Moore, is with me now. Thomas. So let's start with that good news. No new deaths have been reported in the last 24 hours. Now, there is often a delay in reporting following a weekend or bank holiday, but even still, it's a significant moment in the pandemic, which has claimed more than 127,000 lives. So how can it be that there are zero deaths at the same time some scientists are warning that the third wave has already started? Well, these are cases. The death figures reflect the infection rate a month ago. Back then, there were 2,000 a day. Now, there are more than 3,000 a day, a result of lockdown being lifted and the Indian variant. So will the rise in cases mean a rise in deaths? Well, it depends on the vaccine rollout. 25 million adults have now had both doses, giving good, though not perfect, protection. But it still means a quarter of adults have yet to have any dose and half still do a second they could spread the virus. So some people are likely to still need hospital treatment, just as the NHS is under rising pressure for other reasons. In Scotland, where the easing of restrictions has been poured, weekly A and E attendances are nearing pre-pandemic levels with more than 25,800 last month. That's just below where they were in March 2020, at a time when we were going into the first lockdown in a bid to protect the NHS. So while there is still hope in the latest figures, we're not in the clear yet. Many scientists argue that delaying the lifting of the last of the lockdown restrictions on June the 21st would allow more people to be protected by the vaccine rollout. But against that, any delay would put back the economic recovery. The balance between the two is a political decision.